everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look inside of the Night Zookeeper program. So Emily is a reluctant writer. She kind of always has been. We've always known that she was super creative and imaginative, and she always has a story to tell. So we've known that her reluctance to writing isn't actually writing or being a writer. It's physically the pinning of writing. So over the years, we've done numerous different things to encourage her and still support her as a writer and show her that she can be a writer and love writing, even if she doesn't love the actual writing. And one of the things that we've done to encourage her as a writer and an author creatively recently is by joining the Night Zookeeper program. So it's something that I kept seeing advertised and it just looks so cute. The little animals and the zookeepers and that theme like screams Emily. So we decided to try it, which you can do too with the link in the description box down below because they offer a free seven day trial. And with that link, if you click it, if you decide to try it, you will also receive 50% off your membership if you decide to stick with it. And if your kids love it as much as Emily did and does, I think you probably will. What you get when you first sign up is a parent guidebook. And that parent guidebook is going to tell you everything you need to know to get started. It's gonna tell you how to get started, kind of what to expect, um, what the menu looks like on the child side, what to do on the parent side. And then it's also going to give you all of the learning goals based off of age that the child is going to be working towards within Night Zookeeper. And if you don't feel like your child is ready for certain things, you have the ability to change on the parent dashboard. So like, let's say you have your child set up as a seven year old, but it's just a little advanced. You can just go in and change it to six. Or if the seven stuff is a little too easy, you can just change it to eight. So don't feel like you have to know exactly where they need to be when they're first getting it set up because all of that can be changed. Next, your child gets to log in, and the first thing they're going to do is draw themselves as a zookeeper avatar, which is always super fun because what kid doesn't like drawing themselves? And then they'll also get started on their challenges. <laughs> Every week they will be sent two different challenges and they start by watching an episode on the interactive TV and that episode teaches them different key skills like um, what an adjective is or how to use transitions in writing or a few that Emily's been working on lately. And then it takes them to the actual writing portion. And the first thing they do there is draw an animal. So Emily has absolutely loved this. She keeps creating all these different animals and then you get to write a story to go along with it. My favorite part as a mom is that while she's writing that story, she gets to collect orbs and those orbs are things like um, include three adjectives or a certain word count they have to write or maybe to use transition words and those things are um, immediate. So it tells them like it knows that they haven't used that or they haven't hit this or they haven't, you know, hit that. And so they have to do that to collect those orbs. And then when they're done, they can save their work and they can submit it to a tutor for feedback from a tutor and then have it published, which is a pretty big deal for a kid. In addition to being able to write, there are also some really fun games to play. So the games they get to play help the kids work on spelling and vocabulary and reading and comprehension. So they're super fun and they're working on some really key skills there as well.
hope you enjoyed this quick look inside of the Night Zookeeper program. And don't forget to click that link in the description box down below for your seven day free trial and for 50% off your subscription.